Einstein once was asked, do you believe in God? And his response was, I believe in Spinoza's God. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. I want to talk about that, and I want to talk about surrender, and I want to talk about what it means to be free. So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So yeah, I wanted to do a video on this interesting thing that I've come across. In this video, I want to talk about philosophy. I want to talk about what it means to be surrendered to life. You know, I talk about that and manifest it like a woman. And I want to talk about this thing we talk about all the time, and it's freedom. I feel out of practice. Uh, it's been, we have just went through a snowstorm, and that was intense. And I've been going through my own stuff, and that was intense and still is intense, but maybe I'll talk about that later but yeah i want to talk about this thing i heard this thing when they uh asked that question to einstein now i'm a big fan of einstein i believe he was genius m like most people right but when he said that i was like who is this spinoza person and let me look into it so down the rabbit hole i went and it's interesting, I was reading his philosophies, he's written a lot of things, and I was like, that's kind of how I think about this thing, how I think about God, how I think about life and nature and all of these things. So before we get into it, I, I will share a story. Um, when I was in California this summer, uh, uh, I ran into someone who was evangelizing i think that's how you say it and so he was passing out flyers and you know talking about god and so uh one of the questions he asked me um because i was out walking and i just ran into him and one of the questions he asked me is like how do you connect with god and i said well you know i like to go on hikes and it is really a walking meditation for me to really connect with this with this energy, this loving energy, and which I call God sometimes. I call it God goddess, creation energy. And he was like, how do you connect with God in that way? That's only good for your fitness. And I was like, really? Because I had not thought of God not being nature. I always believe that God was everything, you know, stars, the moon, the trees, nature, all of those things. And so it was interesting when he said that, and it kind of took me off guard. I was like, really? And so, you know, it was, in it was an interesting conversation. I can't say that the conversation honestly went the best because I do believe our egos kind of got the best of us when we were having that conversation, unfortunately. But, you know, I always look at things that I go through and encounter in life as learning. And so I did recognize that in myself. And I was like, oh, you know, you were, your ego was kind of getting in the way of that conversation. It could have been a beautiful, amazing, incredible conversation, but your ego got in the way. But that was interesting. And so looking to, into Spinoza, his, his philosophy and um, a lot of his work is that God is everything. Everything originates from this one substance, which is god and yeah you know and i and and that makes sense and it's interesting as you read through his things um his work his thoughts and perceptions on what freedom and freedom is you know oftentimes we think of freedom as we have the freedom of choice but that's not really what freedom is. When you look into the root of free, 
it's it's like frio and it means to love and so we think of a okay um i have the freedom to choose and choice but freedom of choice so it's not that you have a choice it is we're saying freedom to choose to love to choose so that's that's completely different we're not talking about the word free and freedom and so if we look at the root of what free means free actually means to love and when we break down some of these his philosophies on nature and what i like to say is a natural unfolding of love like and this is probably going to be a part two type of video because i don't know there's a lot to unpack with spinoza which is exciting to me but to love free to love and i thought oh that's that is interesting because um in his philosophy he doesn't believe that we have freedom or freedom it is this um i believe what he calls a deterministic view like life is deterministic it is to and this is my interpretation to unfold and naturally which is the natural unfoldment of love and so i wrote something down that i wanted to share that i feel like will will um kind of wrap it up i wrote this in meditation so we often think of freedom as the freedom of choice but that means but freedom what i interpret it is what what he means is freedom is to love a certain path and so it's not that we have the freedom to choose but we are actually in our natural inclination loving a certain path which is it's it's distinct but it's different it's not that i have the freedom to choose it is i am coming from a place of love and loving that choice or path if that makes sense but it's to love a creation a path a journey in order to love a creation or a creative path we first must become aware of that creation or path allowing the natural unfolding of love to choose the path and so when we come from a place so we're operating from a place of love that is a natural unfolding of choosing so it's not that we are free to choose but if we're operating from a place of love it is lo loving the path i know it's like distinct but i'll give an example so you're not thinking of loving something unconditional love just is so for example he, in his philosophy he believes that um nature is god and i do too so the tree doesn't think about growing strong and mighty okay the tree is allowing what is natural to unfold which is love expansion and so it grows strong and mighty god is neutral it just is and acts in accordance of what is natural which is love so we can see it with nature it's not that the tree is like let me let me choose uh to grow strong and mighty and 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 expansive and be as big as i can that is the natural path that is a natural path which is love love is expansion and so it grows in its natural state and so i talk about this all the time when it comes to surrender and it's interesting because i've i've shared this on this channel 
I have been in this more surrendered state of my life. And it's interesting, as I surrender and allow, allow love, it's almost like I'm watching a movie. And I'm watching my life unfold, and it's like I'm watching a movie, but I'm coming from a place of understanding. And that's another thing he talks about in his philosophy is understanding and rational, being rational about things is going to lead you to your freedom. Freedom coming from a place of understanding. And as I surrender and I'm not, and I'm like in a relaxed, allowing life to love me, I am, a, I am like watching a movie and I'm coming from a place of understanding and love, like in this knowing that life is loving me right now. And so as things unfold, it's this, I'm coming, I'm receiving it from a, I'm receiving it in understanding, if that makes sense, in understanding. And so it's like I see things unfold and I'm like, oh, okay, I, I understand. I get it. I understand. And it's, and it's just pulling me effortlessly towards more love, towards more love. So this is how the thought, the deterministic view that he offers in his philosophy is not that it's not that you have freedom. It is just a natural occurrence. So if we think about this thing and our relationship to life and you come from a place of Life is loving me right now, and I'm loving life. Life is loving me right now, and I'm loving life. Our job is to harmonize with love. And it's a natural unfolding. I, I say all the time, it's like you're pulled by this vision of love. It is a natural unfolding. Just like a tree naturally unfolds in a way where it just grows strong and mighty. It's not thinking like, am I worthy to grow? <laughs> am I worthy to grow big and, you know, mighty and strong? No, it's, it's being pulled by this vision of love. Love, okay? And, and that's what my interpretation of his philosophy is, I mean, I, there's videos out there and people break down. He, he wrote, um, I don't know what it's called, but he wrote this thing called The Ethics. And, and it's, quite, it's quite hard to understand, I'll be honest. Um, even I feel like I have a good understanding of spirituality and God and life. For the most part, I can. I feel like I can consume and digest things. That one's a tough one for me, <laughs> and but I can see. At least I feel into it. I feel into it where he is coming from with this. It's not so. If we take a more surrendered approach, and we're being pulled by this vision of love. I can see where you say you have no free will because you are allowing life to just unfold. You're allowing love and you're harmonizing with love. And I love the idea of harmonizing with love because then you see how life is loving you and you're loving life. Life is you. So life is you, and you're loving yourself. And all the people that are in your life, you, you come from a different perspective and a level of understanding. And that's another thing he continues to talk about in his work is understanding, 
which is really, really important. You, if you allow life to love you, you are looking and experiencing life from a level of understanding and you move completely different. You're operating from a place of love. You move completely different. So yeah, and ah, it was just amazing. You know, it's interesting. I was in meditation and I asked a question and this came into my awareness, Spinoza and all of that. And I don't even remember what the question is. I always say that, like I ask the question and, and I never remember what the question is because I ask a lot of questions, but it's such a beautiful thing. I believe he was a philosopher in the 17th century. And it's interesting, I've never heard of him until now. And I study and read a lot on spirituality and philosophy and traditions and religions and all of those things. So it's just interesting to read about his work and dive into it and just kind of really relish in it. I love that. So anyways, you guys, I really wanted to share this. Um, I'm probably going to do another video on it. I have a lot of notes, um, you know, especially because, like I said, we were just going through a winter storm and your girl was medita meditating, meditating and taking notes and writing things down and journaling. And it was, it was, it was tough. I mean, the, you know, that kind of stuff is tough, but you know, you take advantage. Maybe it's like life telling you to slow down and actually go within and um, go within. So anyways, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, my the point of this YouTube channel is really um, if you're seeking to go deeper in your spirituality and your spiritual life and um, looking to grow, that's what I, that's what I like to do. Okay. That's, that's my jam. So if you're interested or I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace.